It's an incredibly tough job to narrow down the best things to do in Seattle. From coffee classes in the land of Starbucks and vintage shopping around town to browsing world-class museums and admiring unique Seattle attractions, a day spent in this culture capital is sure to have you tired before sunsets over the Pacific. Let's have a look at our top 10 best things to do in Seattle. Skyview Observatory Located on the 73rd floor of the Columbia Center in downtown Seattle, Skyview Observatory is the tallest public viewing platform in the entire Pacific Northwest. Hop in the lift and within 70 seconds you'll be over 900 feet above Seattle's city streets. With panoramic 360-degree views, Skyview Observatory is the perfect place to get your bearings and pick out the sites that you might want to visit later. See Pike Place Market. The Great Wheel and watch as ferries cross Elliott Bay as they head to Bainbridge Island. Watch as the sun sets over the Olympic Mountains and marvel at the iconic Mount Rainier an active volcano less than 60 miles from Seattle. You can even relax and enjoy the delicious food and drinks on offer at the Skyview Cafe. Talk about a room with a view. The Skyview Observatory is open day and night, but sunset is a popular time to visit. Preferably, visit on a clear day when you can see long distances. If you get your hand stamped during a daytime visit, you can come back at night for free and see Seattle all lit up. Cary Park. For one of the best views of Seattle, head to Cary Park, a small park located on the south side of Queen Anne Hill. A photo from here is Seattle postcard perfect, featuring ferries crossing Elliott Bay, the city skyline with the Space Needle in the forefront, and, if weather conditions are favorable, a view of Mount Rainier. Cary Park provides panoramic views of the Seattle city skyline, Space Needle, Elliott Bay, the Olympics, and Mount Rainier. There's no better place in Seattle to take in the city sights. It's also the perfect location to snap that iconic Seattle photo. Located at the top of Queen Anne Hill, Cary Park is a favorite destination for photography. On any given day you'll find tourists and locals relaxing in the park and enjoying the beautiful view. On a clear evening as sunset approaches, amateurs line up with professional photographers to capture the city and the gleaming space needle against the changing sky. Amenities in the park are simple, including a playground, park benches and a modern sculpture called Changing Form. However, most people visit the park simply to enjoy the panoramic views it offers. Drop a coin or two into one the telescopes lined up along the railings and check out some of the sights close up. Woodland Park Zoo Create unforgettable memories while experiencing the wonders of the natural world at Woodland Park Zoo. Located just minutes north of downtown Seattle in the Finney Ridge neighborhood, the zoo's 92 acres and award-winning exhibits are home to more than 1,000 animals representing 300 species from around the world. Discover the world of grizzlies, lions, birds, snakes, turtles, and more. Encounter one of the largest land mammals, the greater one-horned rhinoceros, in the new Assam Rhino Reserve. Watch penguins fly underwater along a stunning desert coast. Go eye to eye with orangutans in an open forest canopy. Explore Zoomasium's indoor nature play space for kids. Learn how to save tigers at Banyan Wilds, a state-of-the-art exhibit for tigers and sloth bears. See butterflies take flight in a seasonal garden. Safari to Africa for sweeping views of giraffes, zebras and hippos. Trek north for cold encounters with gray wolves, sea eagles, snowy owls and elk. Go for a spin on the zoo's historic carousel which features classic, hand-carved wooden carousel horses. Get up close with ambassador animals at daily programs including feeding experiences. All programs are free with zoo admission or membership except where noted. Chihuly Garden and Glass A unique visual experience, the Chihuly Garden and Glass showcases the epic work of Northwest glass artist Dale Chihuly with a series of mind and glass blowing indoor and outdoor installations. The Seattle's Chihuly Garden and Glass showcases the oeuvre of glass from world-famous glass artist Dale Chihuly. This forward-thinking museum inspires creativity and imagination as much as it pays tribute to the artist through a surreal landscape of colorful glass sculptures that interact with the natural environment. The magnum opus of the museum is arguably the glass house. This towering 40 feet tall work of art is the result of Chihuly's fondness for conservatories. The centerpiece inside is a massive 100 feet long sculpture, which is one of Chihuly's largest suspended sculptures. The artwork takes on different qualities throughout the day, as the natural light changes it. The garden is also a must. Strangely beautiful handmade glass artwork sits amid ferns, vines, and perennials.
Washington State Ferries. With the largest ferry fleet in the United States, the Washington State Ferry System operates 22 boats. Lining up to drive a vehicle onto the deck of the vessel is just the beginning of a truly Northwest experience. On board, get out of the car and enjoy educational and interpretive signage around the ship. Grab a latte or hot chocolate to warm your hands, and step out into the brisk salt air on the open passenger deck to take in the passing bay, mountain and island views. Just two possible itineraries for a day trip to explore Puget Sound from the main Seattle terminal include the Seattle Bainbridge Island Run or the route for Fauntleroy Vashon Island Edmonds. The fleet's biggest boats travel between Seattle and Bainbridge, the island offers a combination of rural charm and sophisticated amenities. In the summer months, heading to the San Juans are a must, fares vary seasonally by route. Seattle Aquarium For a glimpse under the sea, head to the Seattle Aquarium, which sits along the waterfront just a few blocks west of the Seattle Art Museum. It may not be as impressive as other cities' aquariums, but Seattle's facility offers a wonderful introduction to Northwestern sea life. The highlight of your visit will most likely be the Window on Washington Waters exhibit, which houses aquatic animals native to the surrounding area in a 120,000-gallon tank. Other points of interest include a coral reef tank and a kid-friendly touch tank, where your little ones can shake hands with starfish and sea cucumbers. And don't miss your chance to get the fisheye view from the aquarium's underwater observation dome. The Seattle Aquarium, which is located within walking distance of Pike Place Market, can be reached via several bus routes. The aquarium is open daily from 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m., with last entry at 5 p.m. Museum of Pop Culture When the guitar became electric, the music world changed forever. Rock and roll swept the nation and became a staple in Western pop culture. Certain films, television shows, video games, sports events, fashion trends, and historical events have created an everlasting buzz in mass media. The museum encloses 140,000 total square feet with two entrances on different levels on the northern end and another entrance on the southern end. The project was funded by Microsoft co-founder Paul G. Allen. Artists of the past shook society with their unique visions, and some of their contributions were just powerful enough to echo into the mainstream. At Seattle's Museum of Pop Culture, visitors can celebrate pop culture and its rock and roll roots and delve into the sensational films, television shows, and music that made Trekkies immortal and Jimi Hendrix a legend. The best way to immerse yourself at MOPOP is by attending one of their programs or workshops, like the Music and Gender Conference or the Mini Maker Fair. The Campout Cinema, which takes place in their Mammoth Sky Church, is also a favorite. The Museum of Flight Seattle is one of the most important cities in the world of aviation and home to several facilities belonging to the Boeing Company, one of the world's leading aircraft manufacturers. You can find out more about the city's unique and fascinating history in aviation at one of its best museums, the Museum of Flight at Boeing Field. The museum is especially enticing for families with young children who can climb in and around various aircraft. Also recommended is the Red Barn, Boeing's original airplane factory, which features exhibitions chronicling the history of flight. The nearby Great Gallery also holds vintage aircraft, offering travelers a unique look into Seattle's prolific technological history. However, one of the most popular attractions is the SAM 970, which served as Air Force One for Presidents Eisenhower, Kennedy, Johnson and Nixon, as well as other vice presidents and VIPs until its retirement in June 1996. Past travelers lauded the museum as one of the finest sites in Seattle, with a variety of exhibits to keep a range of age groups engaged. Visitors say it offers a well-rounded aviation experience and recommend giving yourself plenty of time to explore. Pike Palace Market From the iconic market sign and Rachel the Piggy Bank to the gum wall, the original Starbucks Cafe, well over 225 local artisans selling their wares, the famous fish tossing tradition, and music playing street performers, there are enough sights and sounds at Pike Place Market to pack a day. The market added its historic market front expansion in 2017, featuring an open-air plaza and fantastic views of Elliott Bay. The bustle is non-stop here. From locals buying fresh seafood and flowers to visitors eating their way through the different gourmet food stalls, there's an endless array of movement, 
and chatter. Showing up without a game plan can be overwhelming, but you can find a self-guided walking tour pocket guide on the market's website. Space Needle Built for the 1962 World's Fair, the 605 feet tall Space Needle quickly became an icon of the city that today is recognized far and wide. On the observation level, which you can reach via a 43-second elevator ride, see the doodle on a napkin concept that led to the Space Needle design. Today, the Space Needle remains an icon of the Seattle landscape. It's one of the top tourist destinations in the city, where visitors can view Mount Rainier. Elliott Bay, and the Olympic and Cascade Mountains. The top of the Space Needle also features 25 lightning rods that help to absorb and disperse the many lightning strikes the structure receives each day. Many visitors enjoy the 41-second elevator ride to the observation deck at 520 feet. If you're hungry, you can also enjoy a gourmet meal at the rotating Sky City restaurant just below the observation deck. The tower's round observation deck offers spectacular views of the city and the nearby Olympic Mountains. Its latest feature is the Loop, a revolving glass floor. Also at the top of the needle is a cafe and a wine bar. 